Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Lawrence Ross, a.k.a. Blind Lawrence. Pardon me, you with the severe aesthetic deficiencies. Hey, ugly! Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Hope you like what you see. Observing obscure observances, looking at the calendar for July 30th. And before we get going, I just want to explain why there's no video for July 29th. The reason why is because I like to do these videos typically in, like, one take. And while I was recording yesterday, it suddenly stopped recording, and I was too busy yakking to notice. And it cut me off within like uh, 10 minutes of the video and I just decided to just scrap it and just move along. So that is why there's no video for yesterday. But nevertheless, here we go. We have father-in-law day. For some, a father-in-law may be close, just like a father. For others, a father-in-law may be intimidating or aggravating, regardless of what one's relationship is with their father-in-law. Today, it's about honoring them. It is a day to give them, give them gifts and have events in their honor. It is a day to thank them for the role they have played in a spouse's life and to show them an appreciation for all they do. Here's a nice one we can all agree on, International Friendship Day. Friendship is important in all cultures of the world. With friendship can be fostered between two people of different cultures or countries, it can build a foundation to create understanding and peace between their countries in the future. With this belief in mind, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed July 30th each year to be the International Day of Friendship. They also intended for the day to support the objectives of some of their other initiatives, such as those of the Declaration of Program of Actions of Mogocultural Peace and of the International Decade for a Culture Culture of Peace and Nonviolence for the Children of the World 2001-2010 period. On this day, the United Nations encourages governments, international organizations, and other groups to hold events that hold the dialogue amongst civilizations, understanding, solidarity, and reconciliation. Many countries hold friendship-related events and education and public awareness-raising activities. One focus is on involving those who will become the future leaders, young people, and community activities that promote international understanding and respect for diversity. If those diverse friendships can be built, then the participants will be uh, benefit for years to come. National Cheesecake Day. Cheesecakes are popular desserts at bakeries and restaurants around the world, especially so today, because it is National Cheesecake Day. Cheesecakes usually consist of a mix of cheese, sugar, and eggs over a thin crust with a topping of sweet or salty items. The type of cheese that is used often depends on the location of where the cheesecake is made. Common cheeses used around the world include cream cheese, cottage cheese, ricotta, and quart. Toppings may vary by location as well. Cheesecakes are either baked or chilled by refrigeration, although baked cheesecakes are usually chilled too after they are baked in order to help, uh, uh, in order to help set their filling. One of the most popular cheesecakes in America is Jewish cheesecake, which is often called New York cheesecake because it became popular in New York City restaurants and bakeries. It consists of smooth cream cheese, a crispy crust of graham cracker or cookie crumbs, and a topping of a variety of things such as nuts, pieces of fruit, fruit sausage, sour cream, and chocolate or caramel syrup. A lighter version of the cheesecake is called French cheesecake, which is often topped with fruit glazed with jelly. Another type of cheesecake popular in America is Italian cheesecake, which is usually made with ricotta cheese and set in a pastry crust. Bits of candied fruit are often used in the recipe. Fittingly, these cheesecakes are often popular in Italy as well. Europe is, in Europe, cork is another popular cheese that is used in cheesecakes. Cheesecakes have been popular for centuries. Early versions of cheesecakes may have originated and existed in ancient Greece. It wasn't until 1440 that they were first mentioned in print, and they did not be begin appearing in most recipe books until the 18th and 19th centuries. Now, I've been to the Cheesecake Factory before. Never had the cheesecake, but I'll say this. The menu is like the size of almost like a Bible, pretty much. It's that big of a menu. Darn, there's no information on this one. National Chili Dog Day. Hmm, now I'm hungry for chili dogs. No information on this one. National Intern Day. Wonder if Bill Clinton may have celebrated that one a little too much. Hey, everybody! National Support Public Education Day. There's no information. This one's kind of wild. National Whistleblower Appreciation Day. Also known as National Whistleblower Day. I wonder why you'd want to... Why do we want to honor somebody who blows the whistle on something? I don't know. 
No information. Paperback book day. Paperback writer. 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 Share a hug day. There's no information. Darn. World Snorkeling Day. I've never done that. And that is the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Lawrence Ross. Hope you liked what you saw. Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Lawrence Ross, a.k.a. Blind Lawrence. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like, you can check me out on my other social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, and yes, even Instagram. That does not make sense. All ending in forward slash Blind Lawrence. Cute.